is uh, Mr. Kakinuma. So uh, his presentation title is Breaking the World of Cognitive Brain Mapping. Hello everyone. Now, some patients with brain diseases, for example, patients with epilepsy or brain tumor, need to undergo neurosurgical resection to treat their diseases. But brain surgery sometimes results in cerebral dysfunction, such as aphasia. A 38-year-old man with a drug-resistant epilepsy had an epileptic focus in his left temporal lobe. Another patient, a 37-year-old man had a large tumor in his left frontal lobe. How can we perform resection of their lesions without affecting their language functions? If we can determine which area is most critical for the language functions in each patient, we can plan the resection area so that their language areas are spared. This is our solution. We combine the classic test procedure called WADA test with the latest catheter technologies. We inject a short-acting anesthetic through a quite thin catheter into a small cerebral artery that carries blood to limited areas. As the functions of the injected areas are impaired for a few minutes, we can investigate which functions exist in that area. In that uh, epileptic patient, when, an, when we inject an anesthetic into these areas in the right hemisphere, the patient becomes aphasic, and the injection into the left temporal lobe does not cause the aphasia. So his epileptic seizure in the left temporal lobe was resected with no language dysfunctions, and his epileptic seizure ceased. And in this brain tumor patient, CC found that uh, anesthesia of the region just posterior to the brain tumor causes some language dysfunction. That area was carefully preserved during the resection of the tumor. His brain tumor was resected successfully, and he went back to work again. This test will help patients to choose better treatment strategies. This technology should lead to more personalized medicine for the brain diseases in the future. Thank you for your attention.